What's going on, guys? We are back once again, and we are going to be ending the Blade movie uh, trinity. Uh, you know, no pun intended, but this movie, I remember watching this when it came out in theaters, and I was very excited because being a huge Blade fan, I was kind of wondering how it was going to go, what was going to happen. But Wesley Snipes returned as Blade one final time. Maybe not the final time, but again, you know, we are, like I said in the first uh, video I did for Blade, that we are going to be getting another Blade film at some point. Don't know when or how, but it's going to be kind of interesting to see where exactly it's going to go from here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. There was a lot of controversy behind this film of saying different things about Wesley Snipes and what happened on set, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the movie. Um, me, personally, I don't think it was that bad of a movie. There was issues in the film that I will recommend. Um, we had a lot of different actors go in this film. We had um, Jessica Biel, who played Whistler's daughter. We had Ryan Reynolds, who played Hannibal King, which, again, Ryan Reynolds brought it in this film. He was a big smartass, as he normally is. He was a badass in this. We also had Dominic Purcell, who played Dracula. We also had Triple H in here, who played as a, another big old vampire and then we also had Chris uh, Chris Austin who also played Abraham Whistler again so again it was overall very good film so overall what happens is Blade he notices that Whistler is not up to par anymore and they have the cops on their tail and unfortunately the cops do find them after Blade being framed getting arrested losing Whistler he has to have the help of the ones that are the Night Stalkers that are led by Hannibal King aka Ron Reynolds and Abigail Whistler, a.k.a. Jessica Biel, who are trying to warn him that Dracula, one, he exists, and the vampires found him because there's really no one strong enough to take on Blade. So, when Dracula does come up, he kind of takes over the business of whatever the vampires have left, and this is the be-all, be end-all type of deal, to where it's going to be, the you know, Blade trying to hunt down Dracula, because if he's able to, then he'll be able to finally take out all the vampires on one whack and that's what the whole team wants now again you have your normal action adventure you have your thrill you got comedy and there's a lot of things in here that was kind of funny and when you go back on it it's like eh, was it really that funny or was it really that cool and to me it was it still is i mean maybe that's just memorabilia for me maybe it's just you know hey i like it and i'm gonna stick with it and that could just be the reason why I like it so much. But at the same time, I can see reasons why people have issues with this film. They're, the ending was kind of up and down for me, personally. They didn't make sense on what they were wanting to do. There's two different endings in here. I really don't want to spoil anything. But again, it came out in 04, so it's not like we are really going over anything. So we do have where Blade supposedly survives. And then there's another version where he doesn't so it's kind of interesting on what is actually quote-unquote canon and also again there's a lot of great fight scenes there's a great soundtrack in this there's great action scenes in here so overall again you can still watch it on Hulu you can watch it on YouTube you can watch it on uh, you know if you own it rewatch it again see what you guys think about it but overall again I'm going over movies that I never thought I was gonna be reviewing and I wish I did and I'm going to have to just go back on a lot of films and kind of just go, okay, I would rather review this. I'd rather go ahead and review movies that I never got a chance to review because I'd rather have that chance. But I think overall, I think, again, this is a good film. I think that this is a decent film. And I wouldn't say it is the worst film but it's still a decent film overall and i would go back and watch it a few more times but let me know what you guys think about it overall would you guys go back and watch blade trinity did you guys enjoy it was it bad was it good was it horrible was it something that you would not personally go back to um honestly like i said i really don't have too much of a deal with this film i think that it still holds up i think it's still a good little action movie i still think that's a good badass uh movie to watch especially if you're a vampire fan or if you're a blade fan it may not be your favorite film it is certainly not my favorite film i think blade 2 is better than the first and third one that's just my personal opinion but i think that a lot of people kind of take this third film for granted on what it did bring to the series and what it was able to try to bring to the series there are some characters i don't think that was needed in this uh movie because they really didn't do anything but 
this near hero there, but overall, guys, what did you think of Blade Trinity? Was it a good film? Was it a bad film? Was it okay? Was it horrible? Was it terrible? What should have never been made? Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments, and I'll be seeing you as always on the next one.